Hey guys, my name is Ultidian and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. So in the last two episodes, we went and got the 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 flathead. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. And we befriended the Maelstroms, which is really cool because I didn't know that was an option. Because on the last playthrough, like the first playthrough in Cyberpunk 2077 that I did, I basically went guns blazing and started killing everyone on site. So yeah, I didn't know that you can actually befriend them, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to do some missions. I don't know if we should do some side jobs, but no. So I'm going to do like the main mission first. So we're going to go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. What time is it? Do we have anything stats? Nope. How can you tell what time it is? It's 10.53. All right. Between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. All right. Let's call our car. Yep. Very cool. Oh. Hopefully the sound's not too loud. All right. Let me edit it a bit. Not edit it, like you know, like There's something about this because the sound's too loud. In-game sound's too loud. Hey. Hopefully that is fine. I think it's still too loud. Let me put it at four. Negative four. Decibels. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Ooh. Or is the game like really loud? Let me see this. It's way too loud. Okay, that should be okay. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn it. You almost scratched my car, man. Another one. Right, we're at Lizzie's bar. Very cool. Excuse me. Come on, seriously? Oh, isn't there something here? First one, there was like a secret or something. I don't remember. Let's get in here. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure, and I go. Hold it, house rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch- I'm sorry, just one second. Like this game, why is it so loud? Oh. Put that at 50. Try, you do not grab them. Okay, I think now it's okay. Ask for a BD and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun. I like the purple hair girl. Welcome to Lizzie's. It looks pretty. Hey, what's up? Read that. I don't get to talk to you? Guess not then. Guess we'll just go in. Yep. 
to the bar and ask about Evelyn. There's another book. Hey. Get Excuse me. So curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Susie Q. Liz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? A big tipper. Do I even have level five? I don't know. Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. Mateo. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Waiting for this one, Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Yeah, let's go. Strange to go. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be is in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Is it me or is there no like background music for this club? That's so weird. There is, but it's not that loud. What the hell? That is so weird. Music volume is like that's oh, that's okay. That's It's mostly people talking. Look at those physics. Let me read that thing, damn it. Whatever, we're gonna sit. Sheesh. Dex uh, had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. 
Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. Compeki. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why's that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and the blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Eesh. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yuri Nobu recently swiped Excuse the me. chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's Excuse made a deal me. with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So, what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Evelyn is so pretty. Sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Wait, mutual net watch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that... Mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick. Like so many others. 
Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay, what's next? Let's go, let's make a lot of eddies. Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. One second, I gotta read this. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Compeki. Facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. Whoa. Analyzing details. That's cool. Even boosted. Right, doesn't right, grasp. Like anything exactly else? what you need. Reminds me of that one girl. Yorinobu's sweet. A one girl from uh what's it called? You'll need to locate the relic Kingsman. yourself. Hope I grabbed enough details. A girl with no legs. It has uh, prosthetic legs. Like sharp sharp Hold prosthetic up. legs. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. She's so pretty. Let's see this brain dance. Let's go. Let's Studio get a level. personal strip. A too. Strip dance. Besides, we go back uh, years. Judy. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Yeah, yeah. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. Who was that? Is or life. One second. this take that just cards one second jeez I'm trying to take some stuff hey there you are this is v he's here for that bd role and v this is judy best brain dance editor i know enough already it's gonna make me barf sensory sig amps acoustic and emotive wave monitors it's top shelf hardware yeah most of it's customized only thing factory are the casings <laughs> model this yourself what do you think expression translator fuyutsuki right thought the matrices on that series were fucked up they were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Oh no, is this the mission where I have to like Believe me, live have through some worse. stuff? You should see the jig jig What's street that? porn we Pick gotta on. contend with sometimes. So we drop the inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw oh, brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. Even I'll Judy's so pretty. Everything. Yo, what the Less fuck? Complicated than it sounds. Never Get seen out. them up close. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Girls in this game are beautiful. We're gonna go for a virtual strip dance. 
How the fuck did she get there? That was quick. Whoa. Profile first. A what profile? What profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Uh, you need to adjust excuse me. that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm hmm. And worst case, I die. Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Hee <laughs> Look at Judy. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack in Come on, Evelyn, get screens. out of the way. Pretend it's an eye exam. Jesus Christ. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. Pain receptors? You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Come on, Evelyn, just sit down, please. <laughs> she, she's so fidgety. Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Let's go. Boot it up. Mm -hmm. I love my nails. The tailored version first, cool. Let you get your bearings. And we'll jump into editing mode. Oh well, my pants. We'll be diving in in three, two, one. Yeesh, that's bright. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Yep. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring, muddy. No, oh, Jesus! I'll fucking drop you! I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, hey! Now, before I blow your fucking head off. A lot of money. Oh, got shot. Ah! <laughs> she. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft active. Oh my God, you're so beautiful, you Judy. You're alive and well. Damn. That was too much. She got cool tattoos well, too. I could feel the guy's pain, his dress, his hope, hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. 